Thanks for joining us here on Nine News Plus. I'm uh, meteorologist Chris Bianchi. So if you're watching me from Denver or I don't know, anywhere along in west of I-25 throughout most of the urban corridor, you were probably expecting to wake up to at least some snow this morning and most of you didn't wake up to anything, right? Unless you're watching me from the east side of Aurora, DIA, that's where we saw maybe an inch or two worth of snowfall, but even there, this was less snow than I think, safe to say, we were predicting than I think was anticipated. So I'm gonna get into the reasons why, but I will start off by saying this. This snow event was an all or nothing type of snow event. Uh, we were either gonna get hit really hard by the snow band, or we were to get what happened, which was basically nothing. So let's start things off by taking a look at what we did see in Eastern Colorado. Now, keep in mind, these snow reports are as of 7, 8 a.m. On, uh, th on this Tuesday morning. So uh, this is as of a few hours ago. And point being is we will likely end up with, I'm telling you, something's gonna come with a foot of snow. Some areas probably came in with more than that. So we saw some pretty hefty snow out on the Eastern Plains. But of course, it did not hit us here in Denver. Kind of two main reasons why it didn't. One, downsloping winds, and two, the most important one, is the kind of narrow band of snow. I'm gonna show it to you here on the satellite in just a second. It just missed us. I mean, 25 miles to 50 miles off to our east. Uh, Fort Morgan's gonna end up with a foot of snow. Uh, Byers, Deer Trail, those areas, at least six inches worth of snowfall. And if that thing, like some of the models were showing yesterday, had pivoted oh just a smidge further west we'd have woken up to three four five inches worth of snowfall here in the denver area so let's show you this from kind of a broad perspective from the satellite and radar imagery you can see a very well distinct area low pressure spinning through southwest nebraska and you can see denver there in the urban corridor just on the outer fringes of all that snow now not only do we have an area low pressure around uh, that's mo moving through southwestern nebraska what we're getting as well is winds out of the north and the northwest. These are down sloping winds. These are not the kinds of winds that we wanna see here in Denver in terms of getting us our snow. If that area low pressure was 200 miles off to the south, we'd have still gotten lots of snow because it would have come through down sloping, or I should say up sloping winds, which are the ones that rise up and generate snowfall. I'll show you that in just a second, but keep in mind here, notice where that wind direction is. It's coming from the north, it's coming from the west, and that means those winds are down sloping off the Rockies and off of the Cheyenne Ridge. So how does this all work? I just kind of threw out a few terms, right? Upslope, this is why the mountains, by the way, are getting lots of snowfall right now. So the mountains are getting air that is rising. And when air rises, it cools and it condenses into precipitation. When it descends, when air is falling essentially, it dries and it warms. So as that air goes down, kind of like a slide off of the Rocky Mountains and down into Denver, it warms and it dries. And that's why actually in Denver, we're actually in the low 30s compared to the Eastern Plains, which are mostly in the teens and low 20s, about 10 degrees warmer uh, in Denver because we're getting those downsloping winds. So all in all, what ended up happening and the reason why we didn't get our snowfall here in Denver, it was an all or nothing type of snow event that ended up with us here in town getting those downsloping winds off of the Rockies, that snow band staying just to our east. And if it had just gone, you know, it, it was a game, I wanna say a game of chicken, but it was one of these games where, uh, games where, where exactly that snow band set up was gonna determine whether or not we were to get absolutely clobbered by four, five, six inches worth of snowfall, tons of wind and a total mess out on the roads, or, it was gonna be this. It was gonna be Tuesday morning with some clouds, maybe a few flurries, maybe a little bit of snow in the eastern part of the metro area. That was, again, that all or nothing scenario because of those downsloping winds and because of that positioning of that very narrow snow band that ended up hitting the eastern plains really hard, but leaving us here in town and along the urban corridor mostly alone.